Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. So I announced on Instagram and also in my plans and goals video for 2019 that this year I want to film a series that would be kind of a vegan guide to Vienna. So basically I want to visit restaurants that are either vegan or restaurants that offer at least several vegan options and tell you a little bit about them. And I will also visit several shops that offer vegan options for both food and cosmetics. And today I went to Swing Kitchen. It's a franchise. They have five places in Vienna. And the one that I went to today was in the Schottenfeldkasse. That's the street's name. And I will link their webpage down below. This video is, by the way, no sponsor, uh, not sponsored. I wish... People would sponsor me for this kind of content, but with the size of my channel, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But it's a great service to anyone who's going to travel to Vienna and who is looking for vegan places. So that's good enough for me. So I got some food to go. I'm going to eat it together with you guys. And if you want to know what I got and what I think about the food and their pricing, then please keep watching. Here we have the diner from the outside. You can clearly see that it was snowing. It was super cold today, by the way. Now, Jack met there a friend for lunch today. Here we have Jack. No idea what he was explaining here because my focus was here on the pastry. Today I took my meal to go. Jack and his friend stayed and here is their meal. I will show you what I got and tell you a little bit about what they had in a minute. I got the cheeseburger menu, which includes a big cheeseburger. You can see the size, it's massive, with fries. Now these fries look like they are homemade. And the menu also includes one soft drink, which I drank in Swing Kitchen, and then I left. Now Jack and his friend stayed there. They both got the green heart menu, which is also, again, a burger, fries, and a soft drink. And my soft drink was, by the way, um, sugar-free Coke. Now, I looked at the bill. Um, each of the menus is 920 that's not bad at all, especially when you see how huge the burgers are. And the patty is soy-based. Now, I have here silverware because I have braces and I am a pig when I eat. So there's no way I would ever eat on camera without silverware when it comes to burgers because it would not be a pretty sight. Now, let me take a little bite. Mm. Juicy. Wow. Really delicious. Mm. That's a really good burger. I can for sure recommend it. Mm. Yum, yum. Now, let me try the fries. They're good. Mm -hmm. They also taste very fresh. I mean, obviously, since it's cold outside, the food is now a little bit colder than what I would like, but it's still delicious. They also have sweet potato fries as um, a side dish, or you could have a salad. But whenever I'm having burger, I want my fries or sweet potato fries. I don't care for salad, because if I want a salad, I don't need a burger for that. But it's obviously a really good option. So I'm going to finish up my burger, and then I'm going to tell you my final verdict. Now, I didn't get any ketchup. I'm not sure if they maybe have a ketchup dispenser there, but I didn't actually ask. And it doesn't look to me that that would be on the menu, but I have ketchup at home, so it's no biggie. And yeah, if I wanted ketchup there, then I would have asked, but I didn't think about it. So that's a thing I can't tell you, but the fries are really good. <laughs> Now, I can already tell that I will not be able to finish the entire burger um, because it's a really, really big burger. So I just cut one piece off. That's the piece that I want to finish now and I'm going to eat this later. And same goes for the fries. I'm just not that hungry. 
So I guess if I would have exercised today, then I might have been able to finish the whole burger, but it's really a lot of food. So you definitely get a great value for what you pay. Now it's a diner, that means um, they don't serve. You have to get it from the counter, but I don't mind. And it's really sweet. They play really cute music and the entire atmosphere is really nice. So it's a place where I think when you would go to, you would not regret it. One thing I can tell you is that there are quite a few non-vegans who like this place. For example, our friend who met Jack today, he's not a vegan, but he really likes going there. So I think if you have non-vegan friends or if you just started out um, eating plant-based diet, I highly recommend this place. They used to have a restaurant not far from Vienna where they would have also kind of the typical Austrian food, but veganized. But unfortunately they closed, so that's too bad because I would have loved to go there. But at least they have these diners still in Vienna. It's five places, so obviously the business is doing great. I think the problem was with the restaurant, from what I've heard, is that it was really hard to get employees there because it was so far out. So, you know, who knows, maybe they're, they're gonna open something like that in future in Vienna. So honestly, right now I'm full. I just can't finish it. So I have half of the burger left and about half of the portion of the fries, maybe even a little bit more. So I'm going to have this for dinner. I'm simply going to turn on the little toaster oven or maybe our big oven. And um, I think I'm going to turn it on to like 360 Fahrenheit or something like that, like something around 180 degrees Celsius and put it in for just a few minutes because it tastes better than when I warm it up in the microwave. But that's not all I got. I also got a dessert because honestly, how could I go out without a dessert? So first of all, I think uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that they don't use plastic wrappings. So the fries are in this little paper plate and everything was wrapped just in paper and also the dessert is wrapped in paper. I don't know about the fork, if it's kind of a recycled material. It feels kind of plasticky, so that might be an exception. And it's too bad I didn't notice that there was a fork inside because I would have told them, like, I'm taking this to go. I don't need a fork. I have a fork at home. So kind of feel bad about that. But the dessert is also in just a paper plate and this is what it looks like i don't remember what it's called so let me look it up if it's on the thing almond nougat cream and that was quite pricey for this little thing but obviously this is probably way more work than a burger so it's 480. now in total for jack's menu and for my menu with the dessert we paid 23.20 now that's not bad especially when you consider that i actually got so much food that i'm also gonna have dinner so here i have my steel uh steel fork oh it's nice it's soft i like desserts that are not like kind of hard to cut in mm. <laughs> now this is definitely worth it wow Oh my god, this is so rich and creamy and chocolatey and oh my. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna be there, I hope they're gonna have it again. Okay, I can definitely recommend this one. From what I have seen, they had also two tarts with fruit. One was with raspberries, they had something, I think with mango or something like that. And they also had a tiramisu in a small cup, but... I decided against a tiramisu because even if it's a vegan tiramisu, I know how it's going to taste, but I didn't know how this is going to taste. And let me tell you, I do not regret my choice. So I decided to leave a small piece of the dessert for Jack for later when he's going to be at home because he definitely needs to try this one because if he doesn't try this, he's missing out. So overall, I think it's a really great diner. If you want to eat out 
in a fancy way, then that's probably not the place where you would want to go because there is no service, you have to get it yourself. But if you are simply strolling through the city and you want to get a nice burger and a lovely dessert, then highly recommend it. I think the prices are reasonable, especially for the size of the portion, and I personally find that the quality is great. Now, I've been only in this particular place a couple of times. I haven't visited any of their other places, so I cannot, uh, I cannot tell you if all of the places are that good, but I would expect so, because they've been there for a while, and I think if they weren't so good, then Ward would have gotten out. So, yeah, that's pretty much all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Now, I certainly did, especially the dessert. And that is it for today. If you have any questions, you can write them down below in the comments. As I said, I will link the Swing Kitchen homepage uh, in the description box. Again, it's not sponsored. And I will also link down below a few playlists and videos that I think might be interesting for you. You can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you soon. Bye.